So another way of looking at cervical rotation or range of motion, um, trying to obtain some motion maybe in a way that's uh, different for the client or patient, um, trying to get some indirect rotation going on, is to keep the laser centered in target while having them rotate their, their thorax so they achieve that indirect rotation of the neck. Um, so Chris, let me have you just cross your arms, hold them like this. We're gonna turn that laser on. And what I want you to do is I want you to keep the laser in target there, and I want you to slowly just rotate your chest towards me. Go as far as you can. Good, and then go ahead and return. Great, so that's a way you can use the visual feedback in the static position um, to achieve an indirect motion. Whether Chris has difficulty with rotation right due to fear or pain, um, you can kind of work from the bottom up and sometimes you can achieve a little more motion that way. It also shows the patient that they can actually move in that direction um, in a way that's different than just rotating their head.